that was the kind of good cheer the Midlanders brought to Wembley with a crowd of 100,000 greeting the appearance of Wolverhampton Wanderers, the favourites, and gallant Leicester City, taking the field together with traditional cup final pageantry. Princess Elizabeth was in the royal box, while the Duke of Edinburgh met both teams, who were also wished good luck by the Duke of Gloucester. Now the toss, won by Norman Plummer for Leicester, and that was the first big thrill for the crowd. And there are Wolves, all set to kick off. And away they go, with the black and gold shirts weaving into the attack against the blue and white of Leicester. Pritchard, number two, heads towards the Leicester goal, but it's cleared, and then Shorthouse, number five, has a go. In slow motion, it's over the bar, and Leicester breathe again. Non-stop attack seemed to be the Wolves' motto, and they certainly kept up the pressure. Crook and Adam collide, while Pritchard again gets away with the ball. In the Leicester goal, Bradley's on the alert. Hancock centers, and Pye heads in a perfect goal. One up, and now Hancock takes a corner. It's centered, but Bradley pushes it out to Mullins. Back and forth goes that ball until Billy Wright loves it to Pye, and Wolves are two up. The second half and a dramatic changeover was Leicester, undismayed by Wolves' lead, going into an all out attack. This was what the fans had been waiting for, and for the moment, the Leicester boys carried all before them. Danger loomed for the Wolves' goal, and here's a grand mix-up which gave Leicester their chance. Williams is waiting, but Griffiths makes it a goal for Leicester. Again, the pendulum swings and Wolves return to the attack. Mullen, number 11, comes through with the ball. He shoots, but no, it's a very near miss. Mr. Bevin, plus cigar, shared the crowd's feelings as the game hurtled on to a climax. Leicester, fighting superbly despite all their handicaps, were again on the warpath, and there's Jim Harrison, number 9, getting his forward line away. Again, Harrison in possession, and some clever juggling before he beats his opponent. And now that peak moment when the ball again crashed into Wolves' net, only to be disallowed for offside. Bad luck indeed for Leicester, and the turning point of the game was followed by another Wolves offensive. Before long, Sammy Smythe was to make it 3-1 for the Wolves, and the slow motion camera shows you just how he did it. Final score went up on the board, and Wolves climbed that staircase of victory to the Royal Box, where Princess Elizabeth handed the cup to a very happy skipper and his team of the year. Yes, the hard work, training, and discipline of the past months had earned their reward, and the vast crowds added its own praise to the Royal congratulations. Victors and vanquished alike had made this a great day for Midlands football, and it's fitting that we leave the last word with Billy Wright himself. Well, there was a marvellous game here, and I'm the happiest man in the world today, but I would like to congratulate Leicester on a very, very sporting game.